can see, I have lots of headroom and leg room, plus the seats slide forward and back, and they also recline for extra comfort. And it's pretty spacious in the cargo area as well. It's really cool to see how it opens. Just kick under the bumper and the tailgate opens. There is lots of space here for golf bags, grocery bags, hockey bags for the kids, whatever you need. What is so unique about this engine? Well, this is the first engine uh, in the world that has the capability of varying the compression ratio. So all other combustion engines on the market today have one fixed ratio, the distance that the piston travels. With the VC Turbo, it'll vary anywhere from a low 8 to 1 compression ratio when you need the power, all the way up to a 14 to 1 when you want to get into uh, efficiency for uh, long highway driving, for example, where you really, really see the benefits of uh, best-in-class fuel economy. So the 2.0-liter turbo engine is powerful and it's smooth. Uh, it's made it to a CVT transmission, a continuously variable transmission with an infinite number of gear ratios. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it ha tends to hesitate often. But once you're up to cruising speeds, it's perfectly fine. What I do like is the fuel economy savings. I'm averaging about 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty impressive for a vehicle of this size and for an all-wheel drive system. Now, I don't know if people are going to buy this vehicle because of the fancy VC turbo engine, but I think that people will buy this vehicle because of the styling, the space, and the fuel economy savings.